All right, you've made the investment, now protect it. Tip to butt, your McDermott Q was created according to the highest material and craftsmanship standards in the billiard industry. Well, she's in your hands now. So here's some strong suggestions on the proper care and feeding of your McDermott Q. Let's start at the tip, the most important part of your pool Q. A worn tip sabotages your game, as poor contact and transference from tip to ball lessens your control over the cue ball. So three things you want to keep an eye on are your tip's shape, texture, and symmetry. The shape of your tip should be convex to create maximum cue ball response from any angle. The texture of your tip needs to be coarse in order to hold chalk better and longer. Poor chalking gives you less friction, which means poor contact and little transference to the cue ball. Proper symmetry in terms of your cue tip involves maintaining its outer edge. Over time, tips can mushroom over the side of the ferrule, which lessens your control of the cue ball. Using a good trimmer tool lets you shave the mushrooming fibers off the tip to restore its crisp, symmetrical outer edge. Might I recommend the McDermott Ultimate Tip Tool? This nifty little 5-in-1 device trims, burnishes, shaves, taps, and conditions your tip back to its original, right-off-the-line luster. Check it out at McDermottQ.com under Accessories. Now, once the outer edge starts to get to be thinner than a dime, though, you're going to have to get the tip replaced. Okay, let's move on to the shaft. All you've got to do here is keep it clean. Not as easy as it sounds. There are a lot of products on the market for shaft cleaning, but some are better than others. Products that use a lot of moisture, wax, or oils like silicone or lanolin can actually break down the structure of wood and cause your shaft to soften or even decay. Not to worry though, we've done our homework and hand selected those cleaning products that work best with McDermott Cues. In fact, we like them so much, we put our name on them. McDermott's Renew Shaft Cleaner is an excellent first stage cleaner, eliminating the dirt and oil that build up on your shaft over time. Next, McMagic Shaft Conditioning System conditions the wood and restores smoothness to the surface. Lastly, McDermott Ultra Glide Shaft Conditioner helps your shaft resist future dirt and oil buildup by filling in surface pores, giving you the smoothest shaft you can possibly have. Check these products out for yourself in the Accessories section at McDermottQ.com. Next, butt maintenance. All you have to remember here is wipe well. Now that I have your attention, a product like Endust is really all you need to clean and polish off the wood portions of the butt. As for the wrap, once the sweat and oils build up, you want to get your cue rewrapped. If your cue needs rewrapping, go to McDermottQ.com or the Contact Us section of this CD to get in touch with someone about rewrapping. Whenever your cue is not in play, be sure to store it in a protective cue case with interior padding that will hold your cue firmly in place. McDermott offers an impressive inventory of soft and hardcover Q cases. Check them out at, you guessed it, McDermottQ.com under Accessories. As protective as these cases are though, always mind the temperature when storing your Q. Extreme hot or cold or sudden shifts in temperature can warp your Q even when it's in one of these. Also, always use McDermott Professional Series Joint Protectors when storing your Q. These will protect the joint pin and shaft threads from damage, while preventing moisture from getting into the female end of the shaft and causing the threads to swell. Couple last do's and don'ts of cue maintenance. Do keep your hands clean. Best way to keep dirt and oil off your cue is to keep them off your hands. Don't hold your cue near the top. No matter how well you might have washed them, your hands can still sweat. Sweat is moisture and moisture warps wood, especially here at the thinnest part of your cue. Don't ever lean your cue against a wall or table like this. Not only is it likely to fall or get knocked down, but it causes unnecessary strain on the wood. And don't put your cue away in an enclosed case right away after extended periods of play. Let it breathe for several hours first. Packing up a wet cue, even in the best of cue cases, is a sure way to warp it. Any questions? Go to the Contact Us section of this CD or, say it with me, McDermottQ.com to get in touch with a McDermott representative. Meantime, follow these tips and you and your McDermott Q are sure to enjoy a long, happy, perhaps prosperous life together.